Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the discussion for Betrayal at the House on the Hill and the expansion Widow's Walk. Okay, first off, I gotta say, I wrote on her piece of paper, um, I hate you, because the gag she ended up stealing was the one that we knew wasn't, wasn't it. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah, like, uh, I knew mine wasn't doing it. I guess you couldn't have technically known I didn't yeah, get it again. I was, just, yeah. I was but, like, how do I know? But, but because we swapped it out, there was no way he would have done it again just on the off chance yeah. that... And that's why I took it. I was like, well, what if he does do it? Yeah. He thinks, oh, Lark, no way. Like, and I was like, nah, she's not gonna, she's not gonna take that. She's not <laughs> gonna do number three. What happens with these gags? Yeah, like, well, I, oh, I yeah. Wanted, oh, yeah. So, uh... Like, mine, mine was, was an acid-blasting seltzer bottle. <laughs> well, essentially, if it a rubber chicken. If the number matched, then you would have to roll a sanity of five or higher. Oh, okay. And then you would have taken damage. I got Otherwise, damage. you just... And that's only if I'm in the same floor as you. So oh. you're a once per turn, I could uh, say one joke, and everybody on that floor that I'm on mm. would have to take a sanity roll. Okay. Okay. For that yeah, number. And it gets time. and it gets harder God, that with, with right. us being there. Yes. Okay. And then like I have a killing joke, so like I do that to find out who has the number, and then I oh, can you use knock, the knock joke. oh, and then I can use a killing joke and use that same number on the person that actually has that number, gotcha. and then they're just fucked. Really? Okay. Like, they will die. Oh, <laughs> that one, Man. yeah, that one was, that was a lot of fun. But I just couldn't figure out, like, who had that. The and then, like, I should have just come down there and, like, was your speed guys. limited to three? No, I could go all the way over there. Oh, there. I was wondering. I was like, oh, maybe he could, maybe he slowed down. No, because I could have gone over something. there. I just wanted to get into the same area as you guys. Got you in case we were like trying to attack you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. At the very get go, we were like, we we need to haul ass and and go here because that was the shortest route to here. And once. And plus, was, we had the locked door, so the only way you could get to me is if you went all the way through the basement, through the secret stairs, yeah, to get, until I, I unlocked the door. Yeah. Or try and go up there and yeah. try and unlock it. Uh, True. Once I realized you were going after her, I was, she's, I'm like, she's dead to me. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, and then I was sitting here, and I was like, oh, we need to have tokens equal to the number of heroes. Well, she died. Well, to be fair, we sent her after him, so I kind of figured, like, well, she whatever was the best happens to her, she didn't have <laughs> shit. Wow. Or, or we, didn't, we didn't have shit. Yeah. Yeah. The closest thing I could have had was my revolver. That would have helped. Well, I knew yeah. my ceremonial robe was going to become real handy, especially since yeah. my sanity yeah. seven. Sanity I was, seven. like, going for that. Yeah, you're well, right. it was knowledge. He, like, the it was knowledge, a knowledge or mm -hmm. might. The knowledge was to pick the lock. Because basically it said you tied it up with ropes and chains and a bow. Nice. That's oh, how that's you, awesome. That's how you locked the door. And so with his knowledge in the ceremonial robes, he got to uh, re-roll. Roll, roll a seven. And even if I... By chance, didn't get yeah, it. You're going I could to get use, it. Yeah. I could take the anytime and yeah. So it was pretty much a guarantee. That was, so. that was close though, because had uh, we escaped first, yeah, and then you kill her, um, I wasn't thinking get, about it. You like would have that. Won. I was. Uh, that was our strategy, and it ended up working through the that. layout of the house. Okay, so before you go leave and go to work, okay. what do you think of the game? Um, I had a lot of fun. It actually wasn't too long. Um, what's it called? I kind of like how the house is so weird. Like you like end up with like a theater next to a nursing home or whatever. So, right, right. And so you just like have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, I do kind of like the different like characters. How you can um, with the might like you roll that many numbers of your dice. So that was interesting. Right. Um, right. If anything, I may say, even though it was short, I th feel like the house could have got bigger. I don't know. Mm -hmm. or yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger um, yeah, or... It's kind of random how it just Yeah, yeah it's always happened. up to the omen, basically. Yeah, and so... But I think, um, I think because it's so short, if, yeah. if, 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 if like, you do end up going sense. blanks, then you can just go, okay, we can start again. Because yeah. this only took maybe about an hour, uh, maybe an hour Which and a half. Which is fine for, like, what I needed tonight, because I needed to get to work exactly. here soon. So. And, and the thing is, like, we, we went through like maybe half the stack oh, yeah. and it changes each time and the thing that I absolutely love about this game is it is very very thematic mm -hmm. with what happens and also how who you play with uh, like your character it, it makes way more sense for your character <laughs> oh, than yeah. being the traitor uh, <laughs> which really could have just been coincidence yeah um, just like really it wasn't him <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. yeah like if it was me or something it's like a scary movie it's like we knew all along <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's these cliche horror trope uh, uh, things that, that are in the uh, in this haunted house um, and the thing I love, I've probably done may maybe five horrors from the base game. Now, quick question, do the hobbies have anything to do, or the no, weight, what, no. 
Yeah, there's really that no that, point. They're just, just for, they're just there for a thematic purpose. I guess. I mean, that's um, not bad. It's just kind of it's, it's just kind of there. Uh, I almost wish this game maybe had like special abilities for your players, mm -hmm. like they can do something else. That'd be cool. Uh, like if they were, it'd be really cool like, your character if they were like crawl spaces because he's been in the yeah. Course, since I'm gardening, I have better something with plants. With I plants. Yeah, well, the plants really those are expansion. Yeah, those were expansion. That's so those cool. were yeah. super helpful. I thought they were really cool. Um, the thing is. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I talked about this in the unboxing. The component quality of the characters and stuff is really shitty, mm -hmm. if you really think about it. Like, we had to sit down and write our stuff because those things do not, do not yeah. work. They're supposed to be little arrows, but yeah. they slide all over the place, and you're like, crap, what was I at? Did I have... I just thought it was going to be easier. And one thing you might, if you do that with the paper, is you because, like, some of these numbers repeat, so, like, yep. it goes from 4, 4, like, for, like, my might, it's, like, 7, 5, 5, 4, 4, 2, yeah. 2, 1. Count. So, exactly. if you might, if you're doing this, you might think, like, I did originally think, like, oh, 3, I got to go down to a 2, but then, yeah. Yeah, really, yeah, like, that's that's what what I, was, I was like, oh, yeah, no, I could Yeah, so you have to almost pay attention to make sure that you're... Yeah, switching between those, right? Well, well it, there's actually two different characters. Yeah, on both sides. Uh, I just with all of yours, I just kind of did this, and I'm like, that's who you're. That's who you are. Because it doesn't really matter. Are these eight characters the only ones that are in it? No, there are two more. Oh, okay, um, that's not. Or yeah, no, there are two more. Two more. Two more. There's a blue. No, you're the blue chick. There's a purple chick and a uh, and a uh, yellow. There's okay. some, another little girl that like accompanies. So them. then, if I had I, this guy, I would use the same figure. You would use the same okay. figure, yeah. Okay. Uh, I love having Father Reinhardt and in, Brandon. In like, the other games, like uh, I was playing with my friends, they uh, have like the little girl with him. Oh, <laughs> oh god. my god! With who? The, with the, the, the little dude. Boy. Oh, the old dude. Yeah. <laughs> that makes more sense though. With the little, little Brandon, Catholic yeah. church. Yeah, and stuff. exactly. <laughs> um. So and then and then the tokens are a little weird. Yeah, I never we never got to those really. Those are I, all. I was curious. I saw this and then nothing. Like none of it. These are like all hor uh, horror or, or haunt. I think we used like ten percent of all this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are haunt specific scenarios. Um, if I had one complaint uh, about this game, it's exactly and we had a perfect perfectly good example is the the rules how the haunt works is you know half the story. Yeah, you know how to win for you, but it ties in a little bit to us, and you're like, well, I don't really understand how this works, especially if you definitely don't know the game, yeah. or uh, have never been the traitor. Because um, what I did, I was able to read it and know uh, what was happening, mm -hmm. like, this is what we need to do, and we can assume this is what he has to do, but we don't know. Because yeah. you didn't know we had to leave. You didn't yeah. know we could leave. I, I assumed that, like, whenever you did that the first time, That's I was like, oh, wow, yeah, they're trying that. to get out of the door. Or how we didn't know that he needed one person to mm -hmm. be escaped and the one person Which, to be dead. I do like that. I do like that secrecy of it. Um, but also, it's not it favorable. It really screw yeah, everything. Yeah. It could screw everything up if you're like, I didn't know that. Or the story I said about the Banshee, where it's like, we don't, how do we, there's yeah. nothing here. I guess I guess what you should do is the trader should set up first, do his stuff, and then, because um, like, it, or, no, actually, that doesn't help because you had the gags. Yeah. And it didn't, we didn't have the gags laid out, so we could have been here. Where are the gags? Yeah, that's true. Like, what's going on here? But I was just like, well, he must have to hand it to us. Yeah. And there's no way. I guess technically you could all just sit there and read it, like, together. Yeah. Uh, not out loud. Mm -hmm. um, but or, just, like, just, like, read, read it in the same head room. And then be like, okay, don't read this part to yeah. them. Yeah. Read this part yeah. to them. Something so, maybe like a... Yeah. That's that's my biggest complaint with the game. But even then, I absolutely love, love this game. It's pretty fun. I, I love um, this game. The complaint I can only make... Which this is the only like if this is the only game you play is like it seems like you would easily remember start remembering like all the items and omens and events right right but well the expansion gave gave out more you'll yeah. never go through all omens um you'll never you you'll never get the chance to go through the whole deck yeah yeah um because I mean we didn't barely really touch we that. barely touched the events because yeah. the the haunt can happen so fast um and this this game works differently for traders like. We start out on the same team. Every other trader mechanic game, someone starts out as a trader. Okay. Secret. Um, so you already go out the game. You're like, I don't, I don't know who I can trust. Mm -hmm. This one, you, you, you work it's together. Just random. Yeah, it's all just random. And you're just... like, you work together, but you don't want to because it's like, what if, like, what if she had helped me with that, with that potion, with that smelling salts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I ended up being the trader, and I win because she helped me. Yep. And I guess that's part of the fun. Uh, and the great thing is, this game is most likely an hour. Yeah. So, like any other game, two. I'd say at least an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It could go longer, but it's, like you said, it's random. I mean, everything's random. Like, about we started it. at 8, and it just ended at Something 10. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. We, and we took some time to separate for the whole thing. Right. Yeah. To figure everything strategize out. Strategize and whatnot. So, so um, let's see. Let's see. 
Uh, with the expansion, the expansion doesn't bring much. It brings new cards. It brought new tiles. Um, I kind of wish we maybe have done the roof a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of confused as to how we got there, but I was like, oh, wait, no, there is an upper landing. Yeah. Going there. And it was super funny how you go into the locked room, it locks it all locked. around you, and then you find a six <laughs> yeah. secret stair. It's like, like, oh, shit, it's locked. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you come down to the dungeon to molest me. Yeah. Um, and how Cat uh, rolled perfect for everything. Yep. Except after the haunt, where yeah. you just blew her fucking face yeah. off. You just <laughs> like, I'm gonna kill that bitch. You can't really dodge a well, You stole one of my gags. Yeah. <laughs> it was a double ended. Oh, I guess it was a. Yeah, it was a double ended shotgun. Yeah, yeah you can't really dodge. dodge Remember uh, what's it called? Cabin in the Woods. The uh, horror always dies first, so. The <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> horror character. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, God. Uh, baby, you have anything? You have anything on this game? No, I I I always love this game. I I really also really like putting the house together. That's one of my favorite yeah. Parts. That's it's probably one of the because cool. it's always parts. just so random. It's just so stupid. And it's I like, like how the why first... is there a tree house? I guess it would be it would make sense if it was on the ground floor right. and then only go okay. I, I, I imagine room. it's a mansion like a kind of just, house like just well, yeah. We've yeah. all heard of that one mansion that like that person built that like doors go to nowhere and staircases lead to nowhere yeah. and like the haunted it's just house. It makes me think of grandfather's mansion from Silver Dollar City. Oh, yeah, 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 pretty much. It's, it's just so fucking yeah. weird. Never been there or to that thing. To that, it's, it's, it's super obscure. small. It's super now that weird. you've um, grown up, it's super yeah. small. Yeah, <laughs> and you can never find it. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I actually, I don't have. I like on a I scale wish, of one to ten. If you had to rate this game, scale of one to ten. That's an eight. Yeah, I'd probably give it an eight too. Component okay. quality knocks it down a little bit for me. Yeah. It'd be a nine, but the component quality is, is pretty bad. I will go seven because I'm wow. a bastard. No, no. <laughs> you're nonconformist. Um, yeah, like I have nothing but praise for this game. It, it was in your top ten co-op game. It right? was, yeah. Yeah. To be honest, awesome. it says yeah. twelve plus, but I honestly think you play like a family too. Oh yeah. Like oh, yeah. My, I mean, if you're one of those families that just watches like scary movies together, this would be great because. I, uh, like I said, I told Matt... Um, Nothing um, disturbing, exactly. Right. Uh, I guess the only thing that would be disturbing is, like, the events. Yeah, this might Like, be the description of the fire one, the skin yeah. bubbling off. Yeah. Uh, so, it could, like... Yeah. But if you're a creative parent, you can yeah, down, 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 down. Like, oh, well, a screaming mm -hmm. skeleton comes towards you. Yeah. 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 Or some shit I like mean, that. I mean, depends on the kid. That could scare him, too. But, right, I yeah. Mean, it, you should ex know what to expect from a yeah. game like this. It's not as bad as some other games. But I will say, out of all the games I own... Uh, this is the first one that a friend actually went out and bought mm. after we played it, uh, sh which should just go into saying how how much uh, right. of a great game this is. That expansion was a long time coming. This game is very old, but even then, there are now over a hundred haunts. That's awesome. Nice. And this chart is fucking amazing <laughs> with, with how that works. Well, that's my alarm. So All right, okay. I gotta head out. That's perfect, right. actually. So uh, that was our thoughts on Betrayal on the House on the Hill. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to help out the channel, I have my Patreon link right there. If you want to make some suggestions on board games you'd like to see us run through, I have my board game geek list right there. And if you want to just, you know, like the Facebook page, I have my Facebook link right there. And have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.